Hello everyone, welcome to TikTok C Sharp Tutorials. In this video, uh, you will get to know more about higher set internals. If you want to know more about uh, higher set basics and dictionary basics and dictionary internals, please watch our videos on uh, the respective topics. So for uh, this video, the agenda is to go through different data structures uh, based on uh, which higher set and other implementation is done in .NET Framework. Then we will get to know more about the internal workings or how the design of hash set is done in Donut Framework. Then we will see certain code snippets to understand how internally it works. Data structures. So there are two type of implementations in uh, .NET Framework for set. One is based on hash and arrays and another is based on a tree, a special uh, balance tree called red flag tree. So the hash based implementation uh, is called hash set whereas uh, the tree based implementation is called uh, uh, sorted set. The primary difference between these two is hash set does not consider ordering as an important feature. So if you have keep on adding a lot of elements to hash set the order is not in any sorted one. Whereas uh, sorted set if you add elements it will be in the uh, uh, order in a sorted order. Okay. So let's uh, take a look at how uh, internally a hash set works. Uh, so in this video we will be focusing on hash set which is the array based implementation and uh, behind the scenes it uses uh, as an integer array called bucket to hold the index of values and uh, the hash value will be uh, calculated and along with the value it will be stored in a slots array. Slot is nothing but a structure as defined below. It has uh, it has hash code which is a numeric value an integer and it has a next which will point to uh, the next uh, item if you have a set of uh, uh, slot set of values in the same slot and we do have a actual value so uh, this is only a generic version of hash set available so we have to use a uh, framework 4.0 or above and the generic version and there is no non-generic counterpart for this and uh, as i have already told we have a, a bucket array and a slot array and it will be initialized like this the size of the uh, bucket and slot should be the same and it's calculated based on finding the next prime number which is greater than or equal to the capacity of uh, the given uh, hash set, set of elements. For example, if you are uh, initializing a hash set without providing any capacity, uh, it, the capacity will be zero and uh, the next uh, nearest prime will be calculated, which is three, okay? And uh, let's take a look at uh, different uh, code snippets to understand how internally it works. Uh, for example, how does the element comparison happen? Let's say we are trying to add an element to hash set and uh, How does it compare this element with existing elements so that uh, only unique elements are contained in a hash set? So what it does is it will calculate the hash code then it will initialize the bucket and uh, The highlighted area in this uh, rectangle It does the magic of comparison. It get the hash code. It compares the hash code of a uh, existing item by looking through each item to the current uh, item being added and there is a comparer which is a uh, uh, i equality comparer implementation so the default comparer will compare uh, uh, values for value types and for object it will compare the object instance it does not do a member wise comparison all right so this is how it happens so a curious question that will come to our mind is if this is the default behavior of comparison how can I change uh, this default approach so this is a way to do it if you have a class let's say my class for hash set and if you have certain members like ID name etc then what you need to do is uh, you need to operate the equals method as well as hash code method okay in the equals method you will supply the uh, comparison logic so that you will be able to uh, 
compare these two elements the element which is already in the set and the element you are trying to add so in this example we are trying to make use of uh, id property considering that is the unique identifier for each class so if the one of the current classes one of the current objects has this id equal to the uh, object being added then we say that both of these uh, elements are equal and even the hash code the hash code is generated based on the id so hash code is nothing but a, a numeric value that will be computed based on uh, the string okay that's about uh, hash set internals thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel tip top c sharp tutorials have a nice day bye